C++ program uh, to create a class with data members uh, called as ABC and uh, member functions uh, to input data uh, and we'll be computing the uh, discriminant uh, based on the uh, following conditions we'll be looking into uh, three conditions so therefore what we'll do is uh, we'll start with uh, the program that is write a C++ uh, program uh, to create a class uh, with data members so here the data members are a comma b comma and c and uh, member functions so member functions uh, to input the data input uh, data and then we will be using uh, that for uh, computing the uh, discriminant value uh, discriminant uh, based on the following condition conditions and uh, print the roots so here the different uh, conditions are if the discriminant uh, is equal to 0 uh, then uh, the roots uh, are equal to and then the second condition that will that will be checking is if the if a discriminant is greater than zero, uh, then uh, the roots are real. Uh, the next third one is uh, if uh, the same thing if it is if the discriminant value I'll copy this particular statement and then I'll come over here and then I'll uh, place it over I'll paste it over here and if it is if the discriminant is less than zero so then the roots are imaginary here the roots are what imaginary so these are the three conditions that we'll be checking and then uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, put the uh, star as well as slash to close the comment and we'll be starting with uh, the header file inclusion so the different header file inclusions are uh, like hash include iostream.h and in addition to that uh, we'll be using uh, hash include pony.h uh, and uh, we'll be using the square root function so therefore uh, we'll be using uh, one more header file called as uh, complex.h and then we'll be using uh, one more uh, function called as exit so therefore i'll be using uh, one more header file called as uh, stdlib.h so these are the header files that would be required in order to make the full screen i'll press f5 now what I need to do is I, I need to write the uh, class file so therefore class quadratic uh, quadratic and within that I'll be will be having two parts as you know that is private and as well as uh, public and uh, in private I won't declare anything right now we will start with void uh, get data uh, to get the data of value of a b c and then uh, I'll be closing this uh, statement and then I have to uh, go for uh, to find the roots and then I'll close this and then I'll display the result and that result I'll write the member function name as uh, put data and then I'll close this and I'll close the uh, class file like this and then I need to uh, write the class name since we are writing the member function uh, outside the class so therefore we need to write void uh, quadratic followed by uh, scope resolution operator since we are writing the uh, member function outside the uh, 
class so after that uh, I'll open this and I'll close this and within this I need to get the data from the uh, user that is the coefficients for ABC so therefore I'll be displaying a statement called as C out and within this uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, display the statement like enter the coefficient coefficients and after that I'll close this uh, statement and I'll be reading CN by using uh, A, uh, B and then C. So like this we'll be uh, using uh, uh, or we'll be writing the uh, I mean, uh, code and once that is done uh, we'll be starting again with void quadratic and then uh, we'll be using square resolution operator to find the roots now within this uh, we'll be having uh, uh, we need to find the uh, d value so since it can occupy the real value that is the decimal point value so, so therefore i'll declare it as double and i'll say d is equal to b square minus of 4ec is the formula so therefore b square that is b into b and after that minus uh, 4ac that is 4 uh, into a into c so once I do this, uh, then after that what I'll do, I'll put a semicolon. And next what I'll do is, I'll calculate this d value if d is equal to uh, 0. <coughs> if d equals 0, then I have to display c out. That is, uh, uh, I need to say that the roots are equal. So therefore, uh, roots uh, are equal. And then I'll introduce uh, a blank line to get into the uh, next line. And here I need to compute the R1 value and then I need to compute the R2 value because we'll be having two roots. So in order to compute for R1, I'll say minus B uh, slash uh, within brackets I'll say 2 into A. So this is the equation to calculate the uh, root 1. And since both are equal, uh, after computing R1, I'll assign the same R1 to R2. So, suppose let me assume that uh, we don't have, uh, that D value is not equal to 0. In that case, uh, again I'll be checking if D is greater than 0. So, if D is greater than 0, then what happens is the roots are positive and different. So therefore, again what I'll do, I'll start with the open braces and then again close braces and within this, uh, I'll say I'll print the uh, display string as uh, roots are uh, positive and different and I'll close this particular uh, line and I'll again I'll introduce uh, one more uh, statement uh, end else. Uh, now within this what I'll do is I'll try to come over here and compute the result for R1 and then I'll be computing the result for R2. And here within this R1, um, the formula that we'll be using is uh, minus of B uh, and after that uh, plus uh, square root and the square root is defined in uh, complex uh, dot H. Uh, so therefore, I'll find the square root of uh, D value and I'll close this and after that the whole thing I'll divide it by 2 into uh, what we call as A and after that I'll close this uh, semicolon. Now again I need to uh, put the formula for uh, R2. So here uh, in place of uh, the previous uh, statement the plus uh, we'll be using it as minus and that's it. That is minus of B and then in place of plus I'll be writing minus and then square root this QRT and then what we'll do is we'll use D and I'll close this and I'll divide the entire thing by uh, 2 into A. So 2 into A and I'll close this bracket and then I'll put a semicolon. So here this is how what we need to do is we need to write the formulas over there. And once this is done, uh, what I'll do, I'll close this already disclosed. Uh, so now what happens, I'll go to the else part. So means to say we need to check for the imaginary part. So imaginary if it is not. Uh, equal to 0, if it is not greater than 0, then uh, they are imaginary. So, therefore, I will say C out is equal, I mean C out, and within the 
double quote i'll just display um, roots are imaginary and after that uh, what i'll do uh, i'll close the statement and i'll come out of the program by using exit function within a integer return type so uh, this exit is uh, defined in uh, stdlib.h now the code for uh, computing the roots is uh, finished so now what i'll do uh, i'll write the code for uh, displaying the uh, what is it put data so again i'll use uh, void quadratic because it is not returning any return type and then i'll be using scope distribution operator and after that followed by put data and within this uh, what i'll do is uh, i'll be uh, displaying the root first root and the second root so within this double quote i'll just display the statement called as a first root and uh, is equal to and after that uh, what I'll do, I'll display R1 and after that uh, I'll just give a uh, blank line so that the R2 comes in uh, the next line and again uh, I'll be using C or statement to display uh, the uh, second root and again I'll say equals and I'll close it and I'll display R2 value and after that I'll uh, press uh, I'll end the uh, uh, what, is, what we call it as uh, statement now the main module is finished so therefore what I'll do I have to write the uh, code for uh, main and within this main uh, what we do is we try to create an object of a class called as quadratic so therefore what I'll do I'll write the class name first and uh, I'll say Q as the object name now we need to call uh, using this object all the uh, member functions so therefore I'll, um, before that I'll be using the CLR SCR to clear the output screen and then I'll be using the Q dot uh, what is it uh, get data and then I'll close this and I'll say Q dot uh, roots uh, in order to call the uh, roots function and after that uh, I'll say uh, Q dot uh, what is it uh, put data so now what I'll do I'll close all these things and now uh, again I'll be using uh, get ch um, until we press the uh, uh, key in the output screen we won't come back to the main screen now what we'll do is we have to save this particular file i'll save this particular file as q123 uh, and uh, i'll save this as q123 now what i'll do i'll press f9 so let's check out whether any error is there yes of course a dual error is there because we haven't defined any variables over here so therefore uh, all those variables have to be declared over here so now uh, i'll say double And I'll declare uh, a comma b comma c, and then in addition to that, I'll declare r1, and in addition to that, I'll declare r2. Now I'll put the uh, semicolon, save, and then again press F9. So now what we do is we do have uh, two errors. So it says that uh, the syntax error. So therefore, again what I'll do, um, I'll just check out. Oh yes, of course, here uh, semicolon should not be there. I'll save this and again by pressing F2 and then press F9. So one error is there. Uh, SQRT should have uh, the function name. So here uh, the uh, spelling is wrong. Uh, the function name is SQRT. Uh, so therefore I'll save this again, press yes and then I'll say F9. So now the uh, program doesn't have any error. So therefore uh, syntax wise it doesn't have any error. Now I'll press Ctrl F9. And here I have to run uh, three different cases. So first I'll give the input as 1, 2 and 1 uh, to get uh, the roots are equal. Uh, first root is equal to minus 1 and second root is also equal to minus 1 because roots are same. Now again press F, I mean uh, yes and then press Control F9. Now I'll give the input as uh, 2, comma, uh, I mean 2, minus 3 and then 1. Now I'll press enter. So here you can see that it is 1.5. Uh, again, it is giving different roots positive. This is the second case. And the third case is uh, I'll be giving the value as 2 minus 2 and then 1. And I'll press enter. So in order to see the output, I have to press uh, Alt uh, F9. Uh, here roots are imaginary. And I'll come back to the main screen. So here, now what did we do is uh, we just uh, checked out uh, with all the uh, uh, values that is uh, that is uh, roots are uh, equal roots are real and roots are imaginary 
this is how uh, you will write a C++ program to find the quadratic roots. Thank you.